the Lord of the Rings defined a genre. The Hobbit enhanced the legend, and now Peter Jackson returns to Middle-earth to adapt J.R.R. Tolkien's final work, The Sim... 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 Similar Lion. Slimmeremium. Welcome to the first day of rehearsal for J.R.R. Tolkien's The Silmarillion. It has been an absolute honor to work on adapting The Silmarillion, which is Tolkien's um, most complex and uh, most sprawling work. Yeah, so this is um, perfect for uh, like a, a human or an elf or whatever race the hero is, you know. A Vala. Yeah, oh, definitely. It's perfect for that one. Absolutely, yeah. You know, the real joy in crafting these fights is staying true to Tolkien's vision. You're going to get up, run over there, grab the Silmaril, okay? I, I grabbed the Silmaril. I thought the whole point was that I was going to grab the Silmaril. Is that what that says in the script? Whatever that vision may be. Let's just swing some swords around. Cool. <laughs> Let's just swing some swords. This is where we have uh, Feanor. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, holding the Great Feast, um, and then Melchior or something steals something, uh, and then it gets confusing. Uh, so I just drew Gandalf smoking a pipe, because that seemed safe. It's a little bit of a slog to get through the backstory, um, but once you get to the fourth film, I mean, it's a dream come true, you know, to be in the Cinnaminion. Um, Peter Jackson asked you to be in a movie. You don't have to read the script. You can, you know, I read my lines. I read most of my lines. I have 200 pages of lines. Right here we've got the talking elephant. These are the tiny water dragons. And of course, the floating crab city. These are just some of the concepts we've been working on, but we are prepared to make anything that Peter wants. I just don't know what Peter wants. This is where Lithian finally reveals to Baron just why it's called the Silmarillion. Uh, yes, Mr. Jackson, Nikki from Paramount's here to see you. Oh, I see. You know, we needed that. Uh, so we're all equally clueless, right? I mean, I didn't watch Lord of the Rings. Andy, do you know what's going on? Uh, I don't think I'm in this one. Well, it's certainly going to be a wild ride. And I just think that out there somewhere, Mr. Tolkien knows we're doing justice to his great book. What's the book about? It's about uh, 5.35. Thank you for asking. The Slimer Lion. Coming direct to DVD. <laughs>